Compass co-founder and CEO Robert Refkin joins us now here at Post 9. Thanks for being here, Robert. Uh, so let's talk about housing affordability, especially as it pertains to owning a home, renting an apartment. Uh, I've been parsing through some of the regional bank data, which suggests multifamily housing is kind of reaching this uh, inflection point as well in terms of its, its supply-demand dynamic. So how do you see housing affordability at this stage uh, in the cycle? I think housing affordability will continue to be an issue because 60% of homeowners are locked into low mortgage rates at 4% or below, effectively locking them out of selling their home. And so there's structurally less inventory even before that issue, and then you add that, and so there's more buyers than sellers, and that just leads to prices increasing. Sale prices this year are about 5% above where they were last year. One thing I thought was really interesting, because we think about this kind of uh, correlation between where the rates are and what it means for housing and what it means for affordability, mm -hmm. uh, but you, in the producer's notes, are focused on all cash deals. And uh, basically this idea that um, as we have more appreciation in the stock market, people tend to crystallize some of those gains, maybe take some gains uh, from fixed income as well, and use that toward buying all cash. How does that dynamic affect, you know, the overall market and the implications on supply as well? Yeah, the theme of the moment is that although mortgage rates are above 7 percent, you don't need low mortgage rates if your stock portfolio is at all time high. And if you're living in the Bay Area, you're living in Seattle, you're living in New York, these are markets where a lot of the employee base are paid in, in equity, and that equity is uh, nearing an all-time high. Uh, also, from a buyer perspective, there is actually more inventory now than there has been in years. 30% 30, 30 more inventory today than there was uh, a year ago. And the houses that are available for sale right now have more price drops than any time in the last decade. So there are some positive signs out there. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, those discounts and, and price drops, I think everybody, you know, their, their ears probably perked up with those. Is that enough to really increase demand? I mean, what are you seeing in terms of buyer behavior at this point in time, especially as we look at the prospect for those who aren't fortunate enough to be able to purchase a, a house with all cash, um, higher for longer, 20 percent odds in the options market that the Fed would even hike from here, which would suggest that if you do want to be taking out a mortgage, maybe now could be your time to do that if that's the case. Uh, so how is buyer behavior kind of shifting in this new world with discounts, but also the prospect of a more expensive mortgage? You know, we, we are seeing more buyer demand than this past fall. This past fall in October, the seasonal adjusted annual rate of home sales was 3.8 million. This past month, it was 4.2 million. So it is modestly moving up. The, the mid-cycle average should be around 5.3, 5.4 million. So we're, we're far off from where we should be. But it is clear that the bottom is behind us. Are you seeing more housing affordability and discussions following that settlement, that recent settlement with the National Association of Realtors and a group of home sellers? Uh, I saw a recent article that said that standard 6 percent commission uh, is a thing of the past and that it's going to be much more negotiated downward as much as 25 percent. Uh, does that make housing more affordable? And what does that mean for your business, which relies very heavily, of course, on those commissions? Yeah, so the, the headlines... Uh, that I read are very different than the facts that I know. There is, NAR doesn't govern the commission. A, B, there is no such thing as a 6% commission. They are all negotiable. They always have been. Um, what I can tell you is that more people are using buyer agents and seller agents uh, over the last decade, pretty consistently. It's at an all-time high right now. I can also tell you that commissions over the last three years went up each year. And those are signs that the consumer values advice from a professional agent more than a discount. There are discounts that have been out there forever. There is Foxins, Purple Bricks, there are mass discounters in every market, but people time and time again are choosing the agent that can give them the best advice.